वेलकम टू सिग्मा सॉल्वर गाइज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन दिस हेल्प्स द यूट्यूब एल्गोरिदम एंड कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज बेसिकली पार्ट ऑफ एस एन एम पी विथ स्टैंड फॉर सिंपल नेटवर्क मैनेजमेंट प्रोटोकॉल सो दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोटोकॉल इज बेसिकली असाइन द टास्क टू डिफाइन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ पैकेट्स दैट आर एक्सचेंज बिटवीन सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी इन अ नेटवर्क विच इज अ मैनेजर एंड एन एजेंट विच इज इंस्टॉल्ड इन ऑल द डिवाइस दैट आर रिजाइडिंग इन साइड दैट नेटवर्क सो यू कैन से लाइक इन अ पी सी अटैच टू अ लैंड नेटवर्क देर वी हैव समथिंग called an as an agent that is installed as a driver inside the pc to basically facilitate the transfer of data packets from the network to the pc and vice versa so it reads and changes the status of the objects that is the value or vari of variables in snmp packets so the snmp packets are basically transmitted between the manager and an agent to facilitate the network uh, architecture okay so what we are given here is basically show the encoding for integer 1 1 2 3 and b part the record which is a sequence of integer octet string and ip addresses so the encoding for both of these in the snmp uh, architecture has to be uh, displayed here so before we uh, go into that like what is this encoding so we need to understand that there is another term called as smi which is structured man of management information it basically defines the general rules that are used for naming the objects defining the uh, object types like integer or octet string like along with their range and length that which uh, particular length will that variable be allocated and then finally showing how to encode these objects and values so all this is handled by smi so if we just summarize what we have just learned so far so snmp is basically simple network management protocol it is a you can say set of rules that we need to follow in order to like transfer the data packets and inside that the structure of this information which is being transmitted is handled by smi now since we are talking about a structures consequently the structure will also have some basic encoding schemes because that is what basically we do when we structure the data we encode it into some another language that is basically structured across the entire network so in that case the basic format that we are going to have is basically a triplet format so in that triplet format the first four bits is basically the type of data we are going to transmit the next four bits or like the next uh, value will be of the length that which we are going to transmit and finally the value bits so this three tier architecture is we are going to format with the um, basic encoding rules so ber stands for basic encoding rules so if we come to the original problem we have integer 1 1 2 3 so in that uh, we need to first know that like all the different data types have their um, tag separated means this tag is followed here so integer is 0 2 octet string is 0 4 object identifier is 0 6 null is 0 5 and sequence and sequence of are 30 so like object identifier is basically the pointer that we use in c++ you can say that is also a data type so that is what called as object identifier null is simple sequence is basically like you can say array is a sequence right of values sequence of is basically a sequence of sequences right so if suppose we have a nested array so then we can call it as a sequence of so that is how it works now if we also add one more is called the ip so ip address is a separate data type handled in snmp smi so that has the tag or hex value as 40 so this 
सो इफ वी जस्ट गो इन दैट फैशन देन फर्स्ट इज वन वन टू थ्री राइट एंड दिस इज एन इंटीजर सो कॉन्सिक्वेंटली इट विल हैव जीरो टू एंड जीरो टू द टॉप रो इज बेसिकली हैक्स एंड द बिलो रो इज बेसिकली द बाइनरी राइट so here we i have just written this in binary format so this is the actual ber encoded string not this one this one so first is 0 to then the length is basically 1 2 3 4 four numbers are there so four bits and then it is like written four and then 1 1 2 3 is written in binary perfect now we come to the b part which is basically the sequence of why it is sequence of because you see particular sorry this is sequence not sequence of because you see a particular uh, integer octet string and ip address are given and we need to like have all this in one particular uh, packet now we come to the b part of the problem which is basically a sequence so in sequence the type will be basically 30 so if 30 is converted into binary it is this four ones followed by a zero then we have the length so if we go up you see there are four numbers here and like four separate integers here and then there are seven letters here so if you take one letter as one byte then it is basically seven bytes so if we just calculate the total so 4 plus 7 plus 4 which gives 15 so the length is 15 and then we come to the type so the first type is basically an integer so then we have the length 4 and then all the like integer numbers and then for uh, string i have just like made it in hex to like make it simple for you guys and the length is basically 7 as you see here and then for the ip address you see again the ip was 40 as in hex so i've just written it hex you can basically convert it into binary and display here and the length is 4 and similarly so if we see how 59 is coming i just want you guys to pay attention here is because this particular scheme has to be followed so you see the letter a starts with 41 and like up till k it is 51 and then again l starts at 52 and it is down to 66 just remember the first and the last numbers so that all the other numbers will be retained in that manner so if we just go down you see like the numbers basically denote that particular hex value for the alphabet so 59 corresponds to s then o will correspond to 55 and sockets so c 43 so this is how it will work like across entire world so now we come to the ip address so in this you see the first like the tag is 40 the length is 4 and if we see 180 is denoted in hex as 134 so for that if we just go below you see 180 has its prime factorization here the first four digits denotes 13 and the last four digits denote 4 so that's how you get 134 means you need to take both of these four bits separately and then you calculate it similarly 12 has be has to be like 1100 which is 12 again in hex so it is 12 then you have like 30 for the 30 is not there actually it is for separate calculation then 2 and 1 so it is also written in hex you can write it in binary as well so that's it i hope the calculation is clear to you guys if you still have any doubt then please make sure to reach out in the comment section below if you liked this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos till then happy solving hey there before you go i've got some fantastic content lined up for you over here we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy but first if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video